Now, we're used to Bernice making us laugh in Emmerdale, aren't we? But right now, she's at the heart of a very important storyline. Is it me or is it really warm in here? Well, you're probably having a hot flush. I don't feel right. There's something wrong with me. I just feel so angry all the time. Like I want to kill someone. <coughs> Thank you. It's all right with everybody. I'm going to leave. is that every morning when I wake up, my whole body aches. Like it's not mine anymore. I'm absolutely sure that you're fine, love, but you need to go and see a doctor. I would say that with the symptoms you're displaying, that you're menopausal. Well, Samantha Giles, who plays Bernice, joins me now. Lovely to see you. And, of course, we're so used to her being more... You know, Bernice is more of a sort of comedy character, if you like. So this is really good to see her in this light, isn't it? Yes, I mean, it is. And, and I think it's... I think it's important to show that, obviously, you know, somebody like her, who is, you know, quite a ditzy character, quite a comedic character, that it's still a very serious thing that's happening to her. And, and hopefully, by doing it with a character that perhaps is known more for the comedy, it sort of will, will help people because, you know, you're, you're showing the funny... You're showing odd parts of the funny sides of it as well, which I think is important to see because there's humour in, in pretty much everything. But, no, it is. It's, it's, she's really been going through it. But there's so much help out there. And what's really good, I think, is that your husband has been so understanding and you've been able to talk about it with him. And I think because now we are having these conversations, we're seeing a character like Bernice on a, on a hugely successful show like Emmerdale going through this, it all just adds up and makes it much easier for people to have those discussions. Yeah, I hope so. I really do. I am lucky. Yes, my husband, you know, he's in a house full of girls, actually. <laughs> um, but so he's, he's, you know, he's dealing with hormones all the time. But he's very understanding. And, and I think it's... You know, Benita's obviously one of the things she's been having is the hot flushes, and luckily I haven't, I haven't really had that. Yeah. But... Um, you know, it's, it's not only just a physical uh, experience, but there's the emotional side of it as well, which I think is very difficult to deal with. And Benice has obviously got all the, the rage, which I can identify with, as, yeah. as well as all the other things. Exactly, because every woman's menopause is different. Um, I'm like you, I didn't get the hot flush thing, but I did get the sense of just being a bit flat. You know, that just a bit sort of like... And you kind of lose yourself a little bit. It's, it's quite strange. I did HRT, which worked for yeah. me, but, of course, there's loads and loads of, of help you can give. And, again, that's where something like Emmerdale, when we see that Bernice is getting different treatments and it's helping, you know, that's really good too. Yes, and I think we'll see as we go towards Christmas and just beyond Christmas you know, when she starts to realise she really has, she can't do it on her own. And there's no shame in that, in saying, I've tried all this and I can't do it. And she has to eventually, you know, decide, is she going to perhaps try HRT or not? Exactly. Now, look, we've got a bit of an exclusive clip from the hour-long episode on Christmas Day. Let's have a look. You invited my ex fiance I did. Sit down, Liam. <laughs> hey, uh... James Bond is on. Oh, right. Uh, which one? I like there's a different. And now you expect me to spend my Christmas evening sat next to him? Well, no offence. You can sit where you like. I think I will. And I think that place might be somewhere else. Oh, <gasps> see, she's a bit snippy. She's a bit snippy, it's not like her. Um, the thing is, you have, and the character has, obviously, bounced in and out of Emmerdale over the years, and that must be rather lovely, that you come back to a place that you know really well, um, but there's different faces, it's new, it's fresh, it must be quite good. It is, and I'm really, I'm really fortunate, actually, that, you know, I've been asked back, you know, several times, and it's a great place to work, you know, it, well, you've been up there, Lorraine, yeah. you know what it's like, and people are so friendly. And, you know, it's just... It's 
it's it kind of feels like home in a way and I am like a boomerang I go and I do other things and you know and then I end up going back which is bizarre but yeah it's and I'm really enjoying it at the moment I'm very lucky with this storyline it's a great oh, story we're, exactly we're just seeing her there tipping the um, spaghetti over the head of Katie which um, I think must be one of your favorite moments actually <laughs> Yes, I mean, I hated the outfit. I had to get them to put lace at the top of my thighs so you wouldn't see my chunky thighs. That's nonsense. But I, I, yeah, it was great to do the, <laughs> the spaghetti thing. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> Look, it's lovely to talk to you. Emmerdale, of course, continues tonight at half past seven on ITV1. Um, and obviously, we're looking forward to the Christmas Day episode two. And for advice on the menopause, there are help, helplines on the ITV website. Thank you so, so much.